Well hi folks and uh, welcome to Isle of Wight Bushcraft. Well, in this video I'll be asking the question, why use a Y-stick? Stay tuned and find out. I do find that uh, using a Y stick when lighting a fire a very useful aid. So what I'm going to do is just walk into this wood to an old spot that I know where I've saddled notched some logs in the past and then we'll discuss what the Y stick is and uh, why it's beneficial to use one. Well firstly you may be wondering what is a Y stick? Well basically a Y stick is exactly what it says, it's a stick in the shape of a Y. But why use one? Well what we can use this for is uh, to aid us in fire lighting. And sometimes when we're lighting a fire and we put our small or stage one uh, bits of wood or twigs on, on the fire, if we're not careful we can actually smother that initial flame. Yeah, say for example we've uh, lit some uh, birch bark or put a spark to some, to some fat wood and we put too much um, stage one twigs on we can smother that initial flame and douse the fire. Um, but by putting our, uh, our twigs, our brushwood uh, on the Y stick uh, across that Y we can then lower or, or raise the small twigs that we put across or our stage one twigs that we put on the section of the Y there and we can raise or lower it so if we feel if we feel the fires being smothered we can just raise it we still got one hand free uh, to control other factors or we can um, we can lower it and if it starts to take we can um, just leave it there and then just brush off our our twigs and our fires going so it's very useful for that you could just use two sticks and then put your twigs across that but you can imagine it's a little bit cumbersome and if you drop them you've got to start again uh, but I find that by using this Y stick it's a simple little idea that I've come up with um, but I just find by using a Y stick you've got complete control that way and if you need to grab something you've got this other hand free so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration and just demonstrate quickly uh, how we can use this with regard to our fire lighting What I've done is I've purposely bought a very small piece of fat wood with me just to demonstrate that I only have one chance at lighting this fire because this is all the uh, all the tinder I've got so it's important that I get it right first time and that's why I use the wire stick because you don't run the risk of smothering your fire because if you smother it it goes out and you've got no more tinder you're basically snookered until you can find more tinder and that 
it's not always possible. And uh, also, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but the birds are singing away, calling for a mate, which is a, a sure sign that spring is definitely springing. Lovely time of year. Okay, so I've got my fatwood shavings, a little bit of birch bark in there, which is found on a, an old bit of birch bark, uh, birch tree over there. So I've just added that in as well. Uh, but this is all I've got now. So this has got to uh, be successful first time. So we put that on there. So I've got my wire stick. So what we do before we uh, ignite this uh, this uh, tinder, we'll take out stage one twigs. Like so. As you can see, uh, I've made a fire lay. I'm not going to light a full fire, but just uh, just because the ground's very damp. As you see, just made a little clearing so we don't ignite any uh, any leaf litter. So we put our we take our wire stick and then we just put our our stage one twigs. So as you can see, you've got full control uh, over the, over the fire. So once we ignite our tinder, put our tinder on the fire lay, we can then lower this until it catches. It starts to smother it. We can lift our uh, our kindling, a little bit more oxygen get in, uh, lower it down. But once it's caught, we can just lower that carefully and then just pull out our Y stick, and we're good to go. I find this method, like I say, it's only a simple little idea that I've come up with, but I do find it works very well. And uh, sometimes just these little tips and hints they uh, just make life a little bit more uh, easier but they uh, make fire lighting more effective as well. I think that's uh, just as important. So anyway, we're going to put a spark to this and uh, light this fire and I'll uh, show you how we do it. Take our wire stick. Let me just, as you can see, we can lower it or uh, raise it. Uh, see, I'm just needing to raise it a little bit. There we go. That's starting to catch now. So I'm just holding that uh, those twigs just above, about an inch above. The, uh, the fat wood and that's starting to catch lovely now. So now I can just slide out that Y stick carefully and there we go. And our fire is now alight. So there we are, first time. We didn't lose a, didn't lose our fire. And there was a bit of wind as well blowing it, but uh, no, just by raising it um, or, or lowering it, as I say, just keeping it above that um, that tinder that we lit, that, uh, that fat wood, it just didn't smother it and it's caught lovely. And uh, of course we wanted to further build our fire then, we would just put stage two and then stage three on and then our logs near our fire. But there we are, you see, that's the benefit of the wire stick. You notice I've got one slightly angled here as well, which is uh, even even better. But uh, I I use this a lot now, this uh, Y stick method, and I find it um, gives me much better control. So there we are folks, uh, that's why I use a Y-stick. So I hope you found that helpful. And uh, as I say, give it a try. Let me know in your comments below uh, if you have tried it and what you think. And um, see if you found that it's, uh, it's beneficial for you as it is for me. So that's all for this video guys. Um, thank you for joining me as always. And uh, all being well, I'll see you in the next video. But for the moment, take care. And uh, bye for now.